the, in the name of the team of Sensibility 2015, I would like to thank you for your participation in our conference as one of our speakers today. Thank you for having me here. In these days, you have especially contributed to the movement Social Entrepreneurship as the founder and managing partner of Ananda Ventures. Could you please give us give our viewers a short overview of your company? So Ananda Ventures is an asset management company in the impact investment space and um, we have uh, currently two products, Social Venture Fund 1 and Social Venture Fund 2 and as the name implies we um, support social entrepreneurs um, with capital but also with infrastructure so we provide between half a million to one and a half million per portfolio company and we would invest in outstanding social enterprises um, within Europe um, and help them to scale up together with our investors and our network of ambassadors and um, a few of the well-known social enterprises we supported are for example Oticon a company that uh, uses the special skills of people with Asperger's syndrome so artists and trains them to be software testers and another one is a for example affordable and flexible child daycare provider in Germany with already 30 million euros in turnover. Wow so in general why do you think a social or an entrepreneur should only build stuff that matters? Mm -hmm. So, being an entrepreneur myself, I think Ananda Ventures is my fourth, the fourth company I've built and on that way I believe um, that I've lost a lot of time building companies that didn't really matter and that were just copycats of something else or didn't really um, serve um, other people and I think the most important thing if you build a company is that you really do something that serves your clients and the life of an entrepreneur is short so um, building a company is a 10 year thing at least and uh, you can do that only a couple of times in your life if you start early and I believe it's so much more rewarding to actually do something that's closer to your heart and building a company is, can become very very difficult at one point in time at least during the life of an entrepreneur and my personal um, experience is that you can uh, be much stronger if um, the thing you're doing is closer to your heart and serves a higher purpose than um, just uh, your wallet and um, I've seen that many, many times in my life and that's why I um, keep preaching that uh, you should only build stuff that matters. It doesn't have to be necessarily social entrepreneurship, but it should be um, entrepreneurship that matters. I see. So, beside your other startups, were there like any other significant events in your life that made you, become, that made you want to become a social entrepreneur? Yeah, I think um, it's twofold. On the one hand, it was part of a frustration that I saw that building a pure for-profit uh, company with the only sense to make myself richer didn't, wasn't really fulfilling and it uh, didn't really uh, make the people around me happier. And I also saw that once you build a company that does something good, you attract a lot better people actually. Um, and uh, then I spent a lot of time with social entrepreneurs and I thought, man, I really want to work with those kind of people. They are inspiring, they are intrinsically motivated and uh, they are really capable entrepreneurs and uh, probably the only way how I could support was through capital because raising funds is what I've done through all my business life and therefore I think it was a very natural step for me to move into this space. Good to hear. But I think the most important thing, question I asked myself was to um, what would I do if it wasn't for money? And that was, that's what came out in the end of the day. Everybody that works for this company is doing really well also financially. So um, somehow I think it's possible to square that circle. Okay. So in general, do you think there will be more social entrepreneurs in the future? Or in general, where do you see social entrepreneurship in 10 years? And mm -hmm. as well, which role do you think Ananda or social venture funds like Ananda are going to play by then? So, first of all, I think there will be more social entrepreneurship. Um, most universities have their own chair for social entrepreneurship. By now, they didn't have that 10 years ago when I was in university. Um, so, naturally, there will be more social entrepreneurs. Um, many people knock on our door. They want to move into the space. Um, uh, and uh, therefore, I think naturally this will grow. On the other hand, I think it will merge with um, traditional business. and traditional business will find out that social entrepreneurship elements will serve it um, in terms of sustainability, financial, uh, financials and also um, building stronger teams and therefore I have a very positive feeling um, concerning the future of social entrepreneurship. Nice, that's, that's good. good luck for us. Yeah. Yeah. So in which way do you think everyone or just everyone in our society can contribute to the movement social entrepreneurship? 
So I think it's important to start where you're at. So many people um, contact us and they say, I really want to um, throw everything aboard what I've done before. I was a lawyer and now I really want to work as a social entrepreneur. Um, and I think, you know, sometimes it's important to give these people a little bit of a pushback mm -hmm. and say, um, you know, wherever you are right now, you can help. So if you're a lawyer, um, there are many social entrepreneurs out there that need legal advice. And it's probably much better than um, painting the walls of a kindergarten, right? Um, and then there are other people that are, you know, um, very well reflected that want to move into the space and then they probably should start building a company of their own. There are still very limited jobs in this area, of course, a growing area of, to employ people, but right now they're limited jobs. So the best way to move into the space is probably to start your own initiative and uh, become an entrepreneur. So thank you very much for all your advices. It was a pleasure to meet you and have fun at our conference. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>